Action. Get to the wall. Now. Here's Brandon with an insider's look at a rehearsal. The martial arts genre is special to me because it's always been more interesting, in my opinion, to watch two men who are possessed of skills in the martial arts fight with each other than to watch people shoot at each other. Because, uh, as my father said in Enter the Dragon, any damn fool can pull a trigger. Action. For me, the most exciting thing in working in a martial arts movie is the choreography itself, you know? Uh, just, it's, it's, it's really wonderfully fun and creative to be able to uh, choreograph a fight, you know? Uh, on this film, Showdown in Little Tokyo, the choreographer is a man named Pat Johnson, who's wonderful. It's been great to work with him. And uh, on the next film, I expect to have a, a little more of it on my own shoulders. And I'm looking forward to that very much. It's wonderful. You know, you sit home and you think it out. And uh, after all the training you've had in, in, in martial arts academies, you've come to realize those certain golden moments that happen in a fight when it's just perfect, you know, when it's just perfect and the guy steps right into it and there's nothing like it in the world. And so you can create those. You can make it happen that way every time and it's great. Return of the Dragon was really interesting in that my father wrote it, directed it, and started it. It was Chuck's first acting role, I believe. And the fight scene in the end of that between Chuck and my father is the finest one-on-one -on -one fight scene I've ever seen put on film. There are so many nice little things in that film that show that it's a fight scene between two fighters. You know what I mean? Little things, I mean real little things, little feints, little things like that. I was eight and a half when my father died, and uh, he was 32. We lived in Hong Kong at the time, so upon my father's death, we moved to America, my mother, my sister, and I, and it was just a real different thing, a whole different school system, different uh, cultural standards. I mean, everything was different, you know? And we went from living in uh, a, a large house where I remember every day when we'd go to school, they would open the gates and have to push people out of the way for us to, you know, get the car out to be able to get to the school. We went from that to living in relative obscurity in America, which was a blessing. It really was great, you know, and have my mother to thank for, thank for that. But uh, so a lot of things changed. I just believe that my father would want the achievements of his life, which were great, which are lasting to this day, 18 years after his death, you know, he would want them to be of a help to me. So I'm very grateful for that. I know that he would not want me to attempt to become a pale carbon copy of himself. I believe that. And besides which, I have no desire to, and I couldn't anyway. You know, I'm another person, and uh, hopefully I'll have my own book to write. I think the audience enjoys seeing their, their um, hero actually in the frame doing the stunt. I think physically I'm able, and I trust myself, to do a lot of th things that are a little bit dangerous, where you know if something goes wrong, you have to be quick enough to adjust and have enough coordination to get out of it. In Rocky IV, Stallone faced a powerful Russian boxer, played by Dolph Lundgren. I must break you. When I got the part, I didn't know what it ha had in store for me. I, I just, you know, sometimes you're not really aware of that because I didn't know the business. I didn't know the exposure I was going to get. So I just looked at it as a, a way of paying my bills. More or less. When I started working with Stallone, I was a kid. You know, I didn't know anything about anything in this business. And uh, obviously, he is a top guy to learn from. Physically, he was in very good shape. I was an athlete at the time, so I was in pretty good shape myself. And uh, before the Rocky film, I was a martial artist since I was 15. And I knew a little bit about boxing, but I had to adjust my style according to the character I was playing, the way he was fighting. He's hurt. He woke the sleeping giant, and now he's The actual fight scene was choreographed. Uh, we had a 50-page script with uh, 
left, right, left hook, right cross, and so forth. So that took about five months to uh, practice. For the fight in uh, Rocky IV was obviously it's not completely choreographed. You're trying to avoid getting hit, but you don't want to make it a bloodbath out there, you know. But you're uh, you do get hit a little bit, especially to the body. I had some injuries in, in Rocky IV. Uh, you know, small things, bruises, cuts, strains, a couple of, a uh, little bit of a headache once in a while. Dolph Lundgren <laughs> and Brandon Lee are ready for a showdown in Little Tokyo. They're two L.A. cops who are hungry for a little takeout. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Brandon Lee. <laughs> Showdown in Little Tokyo.